welcome back to One Shot. When last we left off... You're Cadmus? It's you! You, um... My name's Nico. Ah, nice to finally meet you. No way. Pleasure to be of acquaintance at last, Nico. My name is Cedric. Oh! I'm supposed to be looking for you, too! I am aware. Probably played back contact me earlier, saying that you'd be on your way to the city. Did? Send me a message after his memories were restored. Oh, I'm on my way to the city, but I thought it'd be faster for me to pick up you guys. Turns out that was a terrible idea. Pick us up? Wait, you can fly that plane? What is a plane? That thing behind you. Oh, you mean the flying machine? They're called planes in my world. Oh. I did not realize they existed in another world. Are you the friend the count is in Ulu we're talking about then? Is it the same flying machine they were talking about earlier? Dude, I know anyone named Count or Ulu. I think they meant to be friends with my father. In the previous iterations of. Oh, he was the original owner of the flying machine. It's one of his greatest inventions, actually. Your dad invented planes? Flying machine. It's cool either way! Thanks. I need your question earlier. I am proficient to operate a machine. Something weird happened to the engine when I was in the air earlier. I had to make an emergency landing on this tiny island before I crashed into the city wall. You almost crashed? It's terrible. I was not pleased, I will admit. I need to pause something to do with the square particle disruptions. Check, because there wasn't any of that square stuff inside the machine itself. I didn't know some of the islands in the club were really messed up now. They are. So you should have listened to Proto in the first place. Say, where is he? He said he was coming with you. Is he still back at the main islands? Oh, actually, back at the Barrens, he... There's a cave-in and a bunch of the squares. He and the robot lady. The other two made it out. Oh. Can't give me this, though. This disc keep pulled from his head. Oh! Thank goodness. He gave me his main drive. If I have this, I should be able to bring him back. Really? It's gonna be hard, but yes. Need all three of us for the big door. But first things first, we need to find a way to get to the city. Right. The city gate is kinda kaput now. If this machine was working, we could just fly right in there. I slated the issue with the machines, but I can't repair it with the stuff I have on hand. Oh, what's wrong with it? The battery engine's dead, and the engine has some gears that need to be replaced. We'll be able to fix it if Eric and I bring you those things? Maybe. The problem is, the clan isn't exactly a very high-tech area. I'm not sure you'll be able to find anything so specialized here. I'll try anyway. Can't really do anything else right now. Do I have anything that could work in, at, in that capacity? Eric, I am not going to smash the sun. Hmm, no, we don't have anything like that. Oh, I got a... I got a... It's a fire. It's from the plane. Crowbar. I already have one of those. Just a wrench. Sorry, I forgot. What parts do we need to get? A battery for the engine, a few gears to make a place to Hmm. Where am I going to find those things? The only battery I know of is the um, one we found, got in the Glen. Now the Glen, the uh, Barons. You guys know anything about this? Can you guys know where I can find a battery? Good question. We don't really use electricity in this line. Uh, there are robots at the research station. If there's a battery anywhere, they'd know where it is. Gotcha, thanks. You know where I can find some gears? Gears? What's that? It's like a metal circle thing with teeth. Circle with teeth? That sounds silly. Like something Magpie would have. Magpie? You know, the trader guy. He collects all sorts of fun stuff. I mean, he even keeps some broken glass and junk. Oh yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. He's such a weirdo. Here you guys, I'm leaving. Hope you're not dead when I get back. it in the current state of things.
this might be taking longer than it needs to. Oh, right, 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 right. I was actually going the right way. over water. To find the right points, I must be strong too. Undertaking. Well, but possible. I intend to use the last of my strength. We stand back. What happened? You okay? That's a bummer. This better lead to an actual good ending. I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna just let things be. Spirit is really looking out for us, isn't she? Yeah. Stop running like shit. I'm not going to give up on this game now. It's happening faster now. It looks like the vines are slowing it down. Ah. Your mom's making food for everyone. I'm gonna help her catch fish, but I'm not grown up yet. There's full of fireflies. Let's get more moss covering. Well, you're legit. It would've been nice to build a sediment here. Too late now, I guess. Oh, you're the trader guy. Sure am. Here to trade? Yeah, I got bad news for you. I got my stuff back in the cart, but it was sadly a man when I was running for my life. My collection is very limited right now. I had to grab some of my favorite things before I left, though. Oh, um, do you have anything like gears? Gears like the metal spinny things? I don't think I got anything like that. Wait, I do have this box thing you can wind up and play a song. A music box? Yeah! I bet there's lots of little bits in there. Well, that might work. I'm not sure if I want to trade it away. It's one of my favorite things. Huh? Oh, what am I saying? You're the savior. Things have been getting bad around here lately. If I can help you, I might not be around much longer. You save the world, right? Take it. Ah, oh, thank you. Here, I'm not gonna smash the sun. Obey me, boy. Day. 
Well, there's no reason not. Let's on now, will we? Sun can't fix the squares. Sun can't restore the land. Okay. I want to go back home. Whoa, shit! What the hell? Things are cheering faster than ever now. Hello, oh, Miss Would you like some stew? You don't have to feed the whole village. Literally. It's okay, thanks. Mines are everywhere. Apparently, you must be protecting us. Yeah. This was ransacked by squares not long ago. This just made it out alive, but we can't really go back anymore. Oh, squares are bad news, man. I have gotten that impression, yes. Where was that resource station? I didn't press that. This is just annoying. I can't search around when I can't move without... Mm. Ah, there, I think. Some vines just grew around this bridge. If it was an intentional repair effort. Yeah. You know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? Have you checked the power room? Anomalies are increasing. Hello, person. This is the main generator of the Glen. Hello? You know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? It's kind of an emergency. I do not know what a flying machine is. Any sort of large machinery would require a high-capacity power cell. For example, the generator in this room utilizes such a device. Oh, right, I almost forgot. I moved backwards, didn't we? This is an emergency for living beings. You can use the battery from the generator. Oh, hey, but if we take the battery here, one of you guys will lose power, won't you? Maybe I should go find another one. Negative. This is the only battery in the gland powerful enough to be used as a standalone unit. 
it is a dire situation, then do what you must. Oh. So we have no choice but to take this, Eric. We depowered it. Sure did. Still okay? Someone's answer to let us know when you want to back to the ruins. Okay. Find anything? Any, any, what were you looking for again? Ears? Ears! Find any of them? No, but I found this muse box though. Ooh. Ears in that muse box sound like they'd be a little too small for what we need to, for, but whatever. It should have gears in it, right? I assume so, but... This looks like one of the ones my father made. Your dad makes music boxes too? My dad makes a lot of things. Where'd you get this from, by the way? The trader from the village gave it to me. I see. I was saying that he used to trade with some of the people here. He always did love traveling this world, despite... Well... Ah, sorry, I started rambling. The gears in this... In there are cap cap compatible with the engine. That means we'd have to take it apart. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. It's gonna be better to get this engine running. At least we must find one. Not a battery. Oh, nice. I guess I wasn't expecting it. It's from the generator in one of the islands. The research center? Yeah. It was powering all the robots. Though. Felt bad for taking it. Uh, we can always just give it back later. Alright. The flying machine has a chance after all. Some of the pieces, but it might take a while. Do you mind keeping me company? Not at all, my boy. How's it going? Slow. Connections to the battery were not designed for this type of engine, so it, I have to shift somewhere around some of the ports. And there's this bolt that keeps getting stuck, and... Uh, don't worry, I'm making decent product. I'm going to make it to the city by tonight. If you say so. What will happen once we get there? We need to bring Proto back for us. Now we need to find one more person. We've already met her, actually. Remember her from the last time you were in this world? I... What does she look like? It's gonna sound strange, but she is a fox. Oh, I do remember her talking to a fox at one point. You've met Rue. Memories are still really blurry, though. I see. It's just hard, you know? You ever told me to think of this world like a dream? Then I get so caught up with... And I just kinda... Forget. Forget that everything here is supposed to be not real. And then I remember. And I just get really sad. And it's for me to go home, but knowing that none of it mattered in the first place? Am I just trapped here for no reason? But also told me not to ask anyone in the world about this, saying how they don't understand. What about him? How did he know? How do you know? Aren't you guys supposed to be all code? Well, I'm not sure what to even believe anymore. I wish Proto was here. She's so much better at explaining this sort of thing. I'm doing a terrible job of it. Proto was even less tactful, wasn't he? Proto, I must risk telling you callous, but... Please, you need not concern yourself how real everything is for now. The plan is already in motion. We cannot allow for distractions. Father's putting everything into this one last run of the world. The last chance for him to fix everything. Father's involved in this world machine. You could say that. Acceleration of square particle anomalies were not accounted for at all, though. The patch was only built to accommodate the normal rate they appear, but accumulating at a frightening speed now. Bro even lost his body. I believe he gave you this, this just in time. So what happened to him anyway? What happens to anyone who gets caught in the squares? I only know it's bad. Well, you know how the simulation works, right? How everything is code? Specifically, everything is generated from pre-existing code. The squares cause damage to that code. Most of the time, irreversible damage. Others lost some friends in previous iterations of the simulation. 
driver to develop the correct, more, much more stable version. You're making it sound like your dad built the simulation himself. Wait, did he? Yeah. But how? Everyone in this world is code. How can he build himself? That's, um... Not really what happened. So what happened? Like I said, you shouldn't concern yourself with... With... Alright, alright. Did the prototype ever tell you about the old world? He did say something about being built to be greet the messiah of the old world. I was uh, too caught up in the other stuff at the time to think about it. Ah, you know of it at least then. Alright, here we go. My father, myself, the other two, none of us are part of the simulation itself. Our home world, the real world, actually was actually destroyed a long time ago. In the years leading up to the calamity, scientists from all over the world tried to stop it, but the outlook was bleak. A vague prophecy about a messiah from another world became everyone's last batch of hope. Prophet, or prototype was built to predict the future and the specifics of this messiah. But as his predictions turned out, the messiah would not have been able to arrive to our world in time. In fact, the messiah would not have even been born before our world ended. It's hard and most people abandon their research and resolve to peacefully live out their final years. But some people did the opposite. Even though saving the world was impossible, they didn't want our existence to be in vain. And that's where my father came in. The last of his resources, he built his most ambitious project yet. The World Machine. A large, detailed facsimile of the, the old world, generated from a pool of memories collected from everyone he knew. After a heavy amount of modification and an added narrative, my father was able to convert the entire structure into code. How did that code escape the old world? I have no idea. What I do know is that there is no equipment back home that was powerful enough to run the code independently. So aside from the standard hardware, we also needed to borrow the potential he borrowed the mental processing abilities of a living person. Father used himself for that during the initial phase of testing phases. Like I said, it took many iterations for him to make the experience stable enough. As you can see, even that's breaking down. Uh, not the cut on to the issue in the last minute, but didn't have time to fix it. As the world ended, the code just kind of ended up floating in the void, indefinitely. Waiting for a willing operator to install it onto their hardware. Eric? Yeah. The operator Eric would then generate universe using the code, becoming God in the process. Zurich was the living person you needed to borrow? No? Well, that would be you. Why me? I should have asked that question a long time ago, shouldn't I? I don't know. We really need to get going. It's fixed. You can leave in the next five minutes if you're ready. Alright. I understand if you're upset. Please, try to understand. My father's doing all this to help us. That includes you, Nico. The fact that you can't go back home, I'm sure it upsets him greatly. It's... The world means a lot to him, you know? So, how does flying work? Wait, don't machines like these already exist in your world? You should already know what to expect. Not really, I've only heard about them. Usually a lot bigger than this one, anyway. Ah. Uh, well, a word of precaution before we take to the air. Please try not to panic. It's a few minutes of getting used to, but it's not that bad once you're in the air. I'll try. Oh, I should probably tell Calmus and Alamo where I'm going. You mean those two running over here now? Miko! Bad news! The boat is gone. What? It's the squares. Looks like they're heading in this direction. It's... fast. Calmus, right? Yeah? How bad is it? Doesn't seem to be immediate danger. And it is priority that I take you to the city first, Nico. What about them? Can we get to your later and drop you guys off in the city too, if you want? He's better equipped to handle the squares. You'll be safer there. You're taking us to the city? If you wish. Oh, yeah! Alright. We'll be back in an hour, so please wait for me until then. Are you sure we're fine here? Mm hmm. The squares are still moving pretty slowly for now. Alright then. I guess we'll run into each other again soon. I'm ready to go. Alright. They are not going to be okay. Eight. You okay there? That was the coolest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Reactions from first-timers are always delightful to watch. Hey, Eric. That was really fun. Do you have fun, too? 
I mean, you weren't on the plane with me, but you got to watch it at least. Peter, yeah? Thanks. What for? Why? Oh, um, you're welcome? You're answering my questions back there, too. I'm telling me more about the world machine. I'm just really sorry about what happened to your old world, though. So I'll help you the best I can. And even if it's all just a machine, this world is still nice. I mean, I got to fly, I got to see the ocean. I got to meet a lot of nice people. People like you. I'm a prototype, even if he's broken right now. Glad you're taking it so well, Nico. I'm glad that we met as well. Despite the circumstances. Ah, oh, speaking of proto, I should probably head off now. We need to pick up the siblings, too. It's true, those two have been waiting for a while now. In the meantime, what do you have to do to get to the surface? We're having to fix the elevator button. Alright, you should attend to that, then. Let's meet up in an hour, okay? Got it. Alright, let me just... Uh-oh. No. They're trapped on that island. Thomas. Oh, look. We don't have much time left. Nico, change of plans. Please give me the memory disk. All right. Listen carefully. It's likely they'll be targeted again, so we should split up to keep you safe. I want you to find a door under a large clock. The one behind it houses a pair of ground access elevators. Once you get to the ground, immediately find Rue and bring her back to the room. She will know what to do in the meantime. All right, what about you, though? I'm gonna bring Prototype back. Are you okay? What? Are you okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. Don't scare me like that. Hey, Eric, let's do our best. I think it's safe to use again, Eric. We do not approach. Surprised. She always 
did our best to protect everyone. It's really a shame that the plants started to erode so fast now. Soon the world won't have less plant, much room for plants left. Except for the black clovers, I mean. Yes, the clovers. Use the same one. I should tell the evacuees that we know our way out. Found some elevators. What? Seriously? I've never run in this area. It was in a locked room. Oh, do they uh, work? We don't know yet. I don't know there's a lever that's out of my reach. Wait, you can help us. Be able to reach the lever because you know you're taller than me. Oh, I guess I am. So show me the way, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Now we have a fox to find. Oh, neat. Looks like the other works all right. I'll uh, go get the evacuees, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Um, what is going on? No, it's square stuff, isn't it? There aren't any in here, but I can hear them outside the door. Yeah. Oh, hold on, maybe Eric can I... No, no, it's okay. Because the squares aren't inside the elevator yet. You're in a hurry, right? Go do what you need to do. What about you? I'll figure something out. Okay. Let's go this way, actually. So we can unlock the door, if it's not covered in squares. Throw not budge. Oh, well, fine. Please, you mustn't collapse, collapse any moment now. Let go of me. Cedric? He didn't stop him. Miss? Saya! I've been keeping an awful time. Come well, we have to get out of here. Where to? Else is right now. Hello, Miss Silverborn. Glad to see you made it back safely. Gosh, she shouldn't have told me where you were, but going. Sorry, George. So you also found the Messiah. Hello, little one. Hi. We ran into each other after this boy forced himself into the lab complex. Couldn't stop him. I don't know why he was being so insistent. He said he had to go rebuild a robot. Oh, you know him? Yeah. A robot, you say? Couldn't that be why he needed that book? Come again? A young man with white hair and green glasses ran in here earlier. I said, Rick, yeah. He really needed a book from the back room, so it was an emergency, too. Poor dear, he looked so stressed out, so I just gave him the book. Hope he's safe. It was alright, too. He left me the lab complex, he can hold up for long enough for him to. Oh my gosh, it. That was. The labs? Poor kid. No, not him, too. Sorry about your friend. The book he told me to go somewhere with on the surface. I need to get going. So you know we can't let you say walk into danger, but... He's right. The square seems to be targeting a lot of the weaker structures and contracts in the city. When the library has enough structural integrity to withstand the collapse. Best you stay here until things stabilize. However long that takes, but... but what about my mission? Do you guys want to bring back the sun at least? If you do restore the sun, I'm not sure that'll fix the squares. Sadly, not to mention even getting there is going to be hard. If like this, there's no telling what's going on in the tower. And if enough bad things happen to the Messiah, and all the people, oh, that would be dreadfully dear. Dreadful dear. A friend of mine said something about this forever ago. Better for the world to die naturally. A living being should have to carry that burden. At the time, I thought it was still her faculty of code speaking. Now I'm starting to understand. So I, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Now we've burdened you with our hope, our faith. Blissfully ignoring the fact that you are just a lost child. Well, you're probably more scared than any of us, aren't you? You've been dealing with tragedy for so long, it's become background noise to us now. For you, it must be so terrifying. Now you're stuck here with the rest of us, being held back by the very people you were held told to save. You seem so ungrateful. It's okay. I... When I first came to this world a long time ago, back then all I wanted to do was go home. Eric, do you remember? Very first time? I'm not sure how far back it was for you. I remember towards the end, I actually wasn't sure anymore about going home. Even knowing the world would be doomed eventually, I still wanted the people here to be happy. So when you told me to return the sun back then, I didn't even question it. Then I just came back. And what? And then I found out about the world being like this. I looked up such a forget all the things you told me. So you told me not to think about it too much, but I, I'm sorry for getting upset at you back at the mines. But for you to know all that, yet continue doing this, it just seemed cruel. And I realized something. You really wanted to save both the world and me. But at the end, you can only choose one, right? Is it really hard for you two? It must be. 
world isn't broken, would that choice still be there? Do you still want to choose between one or the other? And even if it is, I really want to see this world, Eric. Even if it's more dangerous this time around. Even if so many of the nice people we've met were... were... Eric, I'm not afraid anymore. That's why I think you guys should let me go. I promise I'll be okay. Please. Oh, sweetie. So brave and braver than most grown-ups. Wouldn't be right for us to keep you, would it? Besides, how can I say no to those puppy dog eyes? Well, if George is fine with it, I guess we should let you go now, Messiah. I promise you'll be careful, okay? Mm-hmm. You guys be safe, too. I noticed that her personality is a lot different. I suspect this is because, uh... I'm talking about George, obviously. I suspect this is because, um... The dyed face is different. What, you something to know? So, just so you know, due to recent events, the restriction on noise levels in the library is temporarily different. So I won't be kicking out people like before. Um, what? I'm gonna be throwing out the back pieces because I'm a delinquent stuck doing community service? No? Good, because I'm not. What are we gonna do? Uh, uh, position, hope the music doesn't cut out. Beating news, eating news, everything is terrible. Actually, no, I should call it a video here. I am the Blues 32. This is uh, one shot. DTFN. Not tough for now.